Hey guys, so I know this isn't the usual content we do on this channel, but Easy Worship have finally released an alternate output. So what does that mean for you and me? I want to just give you some tips and a possible alternate option for your foldback monitor if you're not willing to pay the subscription. So stick around. So now that we're back in person, we still want to keep our online presence and have a great in-person service. But Easy Worship only had the one main out secondary output as well as a fold back monitor that was on the stage for the band. So this fold back monitor was very limited in functionality. You couldn't manipulate the color of the text or the background color or manipulate the position of the words. So hence the need for Easy Worship to develop their new upgrade, Easy Worship 7.3, which has this alternate output. But again, for those churches who are unable to pay the monthly subscription, I want to give you an alternate option on how to use your fold back monitor through OBS and being able to manipulate the words as well as the position. So let's have a look at how I've set it up. All right, so let me show you the gear and how I was able to do it. So let's start with our Ata Mini Pro. And as you can see, we've got one HDMI, which is plugged into our camera, which will be our live feed just for the simulation. And then from our Ata Mini, we've got our USB out which goes into our laptop over here, which is going to be running OBS or uh, Streamlabs OBS. We'll come back to that. Then we've got our media laptop, which has Easy Worship on, which we use for church. We've got our HDMI out, which will go to your church projector, which is going to be on that monitor over there. And then we've also got a USB to HDMI converter and then our HDMI cable comes to another converter over here HDMI video capture from an input to an output which comes back into our laptop over here which again is where we are going to be using our Streamlabs OBS. We've also got our USB over here which brings our sound in from our desk so USB out and so this laptop over here that's going to be running Streamlabs has got our USB Atom Mini Pro. It's got our USB from our sound desk and then it's got our USB HDMI converter which all come into our Streamlabs. So on our laptop that has Easy Worship, when we connect our HDMI secondary output that will go to your in-service screen and our USB out, which goes to the converter to HDMI, we need to make sure that when we plug it in, that we get three monitors, three displays. Okay, so when we are in our Easy Worship, we're going to edit and we're going to options. And in our options, we're gonna select our output monitor, which will be set to monitor two. And that's going to be our projector in the hall, which will display any theme that you want to or have set up, as well as the words for the songs for everyone to be able to see. Then when we go over here to our fold back monitor, we, we want to enable that, make sure that it's on. And then we want to make sure that it's set to monitor three. And we want to be able to also just customize the position as best we can. We're then also going to select this default font and you can select any font that you want to. But what I found very helpful is to be able to come to this outline and select a dark blue or a, or a gray as well as for our shadow effect over here. So either a dark blue or a dark gray. And I'll show you why we do that later in OBS. 
So once that's all set up, we hit OK and we will come back to Easy Worship to go live shortly. When we come to our Streamlabs OBS, we are going to under Scenes, select New Scene by the plus sign over there, Add New Scene. And then under the New Scene, we are going to add our three new sources. So under Source, we're going to click Plus. And our first audio input capture is going to be our sound feed from our sound desk. We're going to add source and then for demonstration purposes I'm going to use this add new source instead. And over here we're going to call it sound desk or whatever you want to call it. And then we hit add source over there. On this page we're going to select the option over here. Whatever your sound desk USB connection is called. For me I know it's called this USB audio codec. So I'm going to select that one and I'm going to hit done. And there's my sound desk added under the new scene. Then I'm going to select my video feed, which is coming from our Atom Mini video capture device over here. I'm going to add source. And again, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to add new source. We can call it Atom Mini. And we're going to add source. And on this settings page over here, we use the drop down arrow and we're going to find our black magic design. And we'll select that. And there I am in the background. There's the camera set up over there. And so there I am, and we can drag it over there and use it over there. And so there we go. So our second input is set up over there. Now to add our third source, which is going to be our video capture device. And this is going to be from our media laptop with our uh, Easy Worship Fold back monitor. Again, add new device, and we can call this uh, Worship Words whatever else you want to call it, and we can hit add source, and over here, as we know it's coming in via USB, here's our USB camera from our converters, and there are our words that come up over there, and we can hit done. But now, the way it's set up over here, just put that camera back on, you can see that this was the problem with the fold back monitor, and this was supposed to be on stage for our band, we've got this black border, black background, and so, what we're going to do from here, is on this source, on this, we're going to come over here and we're going to select filters. And the reason I told you to use the blue borders and the blue shading, was to be able to come here and we're going to remove that black from the word. So we're going to add a filter, and normally it's a Lumo key, but this gives us a color key. And you can leave it as the filter name over there. And again, for a green screen or anything else, but we can't change that. So we're going to go and we want to remove the black. So we're going to custom color. And we're going to pick the key color that we want blocked out. And so over here, there's a black default over there. And if we just smooth a little bit, similarity a little bit, and we hit done. And see our words come out over there. And now for us to be able to manipulate and change the positioning of the words we can use Streamlabs OBS to put our words wherever we need to. And you may say well the words are turning out really small on a live feed. And then what you need to do in your easy worship is have fewer lines per slide. I would say maximum three, and that would allow you to increase the size of this in your OBS. Just jumping over to our other computer, and you see we can change the words. Again, too many lines on this slide. So again, my suggestion is to have fewer lines per slide in Easy Worship, and then you will be able to move the smaller and put it in a different place. And then once that is up and running and you're using the scene, you then can go live from OBS to whichever streaming platform you're using to be able to stream your online service. And that way your, your congregation that are sitting at home can also participate. So that's what it looks like from OBS. 
So I hope that I've helped you with this alternate option with your foldback monitor. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me. I'll see how I can help. If you found value, why don't you just uh, click like and share this far and wide. I'd really appreciate that and I'll catch you in our next video.